स्पार्कर्स इंटरनेशनल स्कूल और कलबुर्गी स्कूल सहयोद्या कॉम्प्लेक्स की तरफ से स्टीम एग्जीबिशन ऑर्गेनाइज किया गया था जिसमें गुलबरगा डिस्ट्रिक्ट से कुल बारह सी बी ने पार्टिसिपेट किया था इस एग्जीबिशन में साइंस टेक्नोलॉजी इंजीनियरिंग और मैथमेटिक्स की मदद से स्टूडेंट्स ने कई एक ऐसे वर्किंग मॉडल्स तैयार किए थे जो सोसाइटी के लिए फायदेमंद रहेंगे सिक्स सेवन्थ और एट्थ क्लास के स्टूडेंट्स ने इस एग्जीबिशन में हिस्सा लिया था स्टूडेंट्स ने टीचर्स और पेरेंट्स की मदद से कई एक ऐसे वर्किंग मॉडल्स तैयार किए थे जिसको देख आप महसूस करेंगे कि आने वाले दिनों में इन बच्चों की वजह से हमारा देश तरक्की कर सकता है पी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज के प्रोफेसर उदय बेल्लारी और एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर संगमेश सर ने एज ए चीफ गेस्ट इस एग्जीबिशन में हिस्सा लिया था और स्पार्कर्स इंटरनेशनल स्कूल के एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर डॉक्टर दिलनास मुजीब और प्रिंसिपल भाई का इस लार्ड एज ए गेस्ट ऑफ ओनर इस एग्जीबिशन में मौजूद थे एग्जीबिशन में तमाम स्कूल के स्टूडेंट्स को गैदर करने और सबका वेलकम करने में प्रिंसिपल भाई का इस्लाम ने काफी मेहनत की है इस एग्जीबिशन में टोटल 12 स्कूल के स्टूडेंट्स ने एक से बढ़कर एक मॉडल तैयार किया था और प्राइस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन के लिए स्टूडेंट्स को जूनियर सेक्शन और सीनियर सेक्शन में डिवाइड किया गया था जूनियर सेक्शन में फर्स्ट प्राइज शुलोका ए बिरला स्कूल और सेकेंड प्राइज डी पब्लिक स्कूल ए वाड़ी के स्टूडेंट्स को दिया गया है और सीनियर सेक्शन में फर्स्ट प्राइज श्री दामोदर रघुजी मेमोरियल स्कूल और सेकेंड प्राइज स्पार्कर्स इंटरनेशनल स्कूल के स्टूडेंट्स को दिया गया है एग्जीबिशन में आए चीफ गेस्ट ने स्कूल मैनेजमेंट पेरेंट्स और स्टूडेंट्स की मेहनत को अप्रिसिएट किया है और मॉडल्स की तारीफ कर प्राइज जीतने वाले स्टूडेंट्स को मुबारकबाद पेश की है स्पार्कर्स इंटरनेशनल स्कूल के एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर डॉक्टर दिलनास मुजीब और प्रिंसिपल भाई का इस्लाम ने आखिर में एग्जीबिशन की डिटेल्स एक्सप्लेन कर चीफ गेस्ट और तमाम स्कूल मैनेजमेंट पेरेंट्स और स्टूडेंट्स का एग्जीबिशन को कामयाब बनाने के लिए शुक्रिया अदा किया है Public School ACC Wadi. We have made a project called Anti Sleep Alarm for Drivers. For drivers, drowsy driving is an important but often not recognized safety issue. NHTSA, National Highway Testing Agency, estimates that over one lakh accidents take place due to drowsy driving, in which it results to over one thousand five hundred deaths and forty thousand injuries. Two out of every five members, five drivers fall asleep due to over speeding. And uh, due to the drowsiness. By this project, we intend to provide a solution for drowsy driving. Hardware components of our project are Arduino Nano, transparent glass, buzzer, IR sensor, buzzer, and power bank. When the driver closes his eyes for more than four seconds, alarm is raised and thus alerting the driver. Anti-slip can be used in cars, buses, and trucks. It may also use. It can also be used in industry for machine uh, which are operated manually. Thank you. Thank you. We are here to explain you the menstrual cycle and fertilization that takes place in a female reproductive system. So let us begin with the menstrual cycle. First of all, the female reproductive system consists of two almond-shaped ovaries located at the back, uh, located at the, at the lower part of the abdominal cavities, two fallopian tubes, uterus, cervix, and vagina. Now, let us understand what do you mean by menstrual cycle. Well, e every month there is an egg released by the ovary that travels through the fallopian tube and reaches the uh, that travels through the fallopian tube and waits till it's ready to be fertilized. Once it is not been fertilized, it loses 
it uh, travels uh, down the it travels down the fallopian tube and reaches the uterus after not being fertilized it starts uh, it starts degenerating and the hormone level drops later it's uh, the internal uh, the interlining of the uterus starts shedding accompanied by loss of blood the loss of blood takes place through the veins and comes out through the vagina now this is known as the female uh, menstrual cycle or menstrual phase now let us understand what do you mean by fertilization well as i said every month there is an egg release from the ovary it travels through the fallopian tubes and stays in the uh, fallopian tube and then later during the process of ovulation when a sperm enter the female body uh, during sexual intercourse it travels to the through the uterus to the fallopian tube and fuses with the female gamete that is the ova once they both fuse together they form a they form a zygote this zygote is the this zygote then travels down the fallopian tube to the uterus and the uterus it implants itself to the uh, inner lining of the uterus that is endometrium later when the uh, uh, later when the zygote develops and grows it forms an embryo this embryo is the baby at a developing stage it is yet to be developed when it fully develops and grows it forms a fetus a fetus is a fully developed baby when it is fully developed the inner lining that is the endometrium starts to contract pushing the baby out which is known as parturition this the the, the time period between fertilization and parturition is known as gestation period which lasts for 40 weeks or 9 months which is known as the pregnancy period of woman now we would also like to come, uh, come across medical condition faced due to menstruation that is pcod or pcos pcod is a medical condition in which your ovaries release partially or uh, immature eggs that uh, that do not come out to the uh, through the fallopian tube uh, instead they stay in the uh, ovaries itself later when they are uh, later they form a cyst and the ovaries start to enlarge and they uh, secrete a male hormone called androgens in a large amount causing hair loss imbalance of hair gain and uh, facial hair body hair and uh, improper uh, irregular periods this condition is treatable when it's known as pcod that is polycystic ovarian disease once it is oh, if it's not treated at the right time it becomes a permanent condition called pcos which is polycystic ovarian syndrome this uh, this disease should be treated at the right time and it can be treated using medications improving your lifestyles or even using a uh, uh, using surgeries now we would come across irregular periods irregular periods is faced by women in a large time but it is not due to some particular disease it is caused due to over stressing yourself or exercising too much or uh, exercising too much or having in uh, intake of uh, improper food and even hormone imbalance cause uh, irregular periods thank you from bakas public school this is my model on waste water management waste water management is an important approach to protect water resources and it is defined as the collection treatment and reuse of waste water there are three, there are three ways to treat water treat water physically treat water biologically treat water chemically this is the sewage from it the water is going to the receiving chamber and from receiving chamber the water is flowing into the streaming and red chamber from this the water will flow into the skimming tank in this the insoluble particles are absorbed from this the water will flow into the primary sedimentation tank in this the sand is settled down from this the water will go to the aeration to uh, to good bad bacteria to breed here is the aeration from this 
the water will flow to the secondary sedimentation tank. In this, the left uh, leftover will settle down. From this, the water will flow to the filtration chamber. In this, the water will be filtered. From here, the water will go to the disinfection chamber. In this, the water is treated chemically. Before going to the distribution chamber, the water is tested in the lab. And this whole process is called is controlled in the control room. After that, in the from the distribution chamber, the water goes to various places. Thank you. Project overview. Hmm. Project overview. The smart illustration. The smart illustration. Providing the smart the smart illustration ultrasonic sensors and RF models. By utilizing this technologies, we can provide we can object detect the object in front of plane of cruising. Plane um. Obtrusion, pain of obtrusion. In Odisha, in Odisha, in Odisha, uh, in second June, in Odisha, which took place in second June, second June, second June, in two ninety three people. Where, where a, uh, where a, where a passenger train hit a stationary goods train and delayed on the other side track. More than thousand people were injured in this crash. India's deadliest, uh, deadliest train accident in this century. So this is a rain sensor. We use this rain sensor to protect aquariums from getting wet due to the rainwater. Let me show you a demo. So when the sensor gets wet due to the rainwater, the shutter automatically closes and when the water evaporates and the sensor dries, the shed automatically close, opens. This is how our grains are protected from the rainwater and when they are dried, they are packed into a bag and kept inside the room. More than half of the power required by the cell network. By this, we can reduce the dependency of the fuel diesel generator from this tower. And the main use of this mobile tower is the villagers can communicate and learn new things to the mobile so that they can succeed in life and build self confidence. I, Samia Fatima. And Fahad. We are from class 7. Okay. Sparkles and sparkles. Sparkles. Mm -hmm. Our topic is mm -hmm. our topic was auto street light which works on the device IR proximity. The circuit starts from IR proximity where the VCC is connected to the positive of the battery through the switch and is connected to the positive of the series of the bulbs. And the ground of the IR proximity is connected to the negative of the batteries and the uh, and the negative of the series of the bulbs is connected to the out when the when the vehicle pass through it the light glows the light glows it detects the object and it allows to go you have done it very nice till the so when it moves it's a sensor view huh. uh, okay it's full in homes also uh, if the uh, low power consumption hope you are going to save the power that is the main yes sir So this is a higher level sensor and this is the 
Good afternoon, everyone. Myself, Ritu Shinde of Grade 9th. Myself, Vibha of Grade 8th. We are from Shri Damodar Ragoji Memorial CBSE School. We are presenting the model named Internet of Things IoT Smart Fertilizer in Smart Agriculture. This project, uh, this project presents IoT application in Blink app. Uh, India, it is facing uh, uh, climate changes badly. It is facing uh, and due to deforestation, uh, so many campaigns have been taken up uh, in India for planting more trees. However, to reduce our effort, uh, we have uh, made something that would be helpful uh, in uh, fertilizing and watering uh, purpose uh, for the soil in agricultural field. In 2021, the India's population is about 1.38 billion people, and the India's population is increasing day by day. So after 40 to 50 years the serious seriousness problem of food will be increased so the development of food is very necessary um, like a blink cap is needed for all these processes by doing the manually work by pressing the button uh, so blink app it is the newest app newest platform for controlling and monitorizing uh, your hardware this device by sitting anywhere in the country uh, just by on and off the lights and the turning off and off of the lights also can be done with this uh, Blink app and it is used for controlling the flow of water also and the chemical fertilizers also. Water can be increased and decreased just by rotation of potentiometer in the Blink app. Next, uh, uh, like uh, plants are neglected nowadays very much in the vacation times, especially in the summer season. So, which sir, first we will end this uh, this para now. Okay, now just uh, will the manually with the blink app, we will uh, come to know what is have been done in the here. Just on it. This is soil moisture and temperature and this is humidity. So, we will often on manually. It has been coming. The phosphorus, it has been coming out. So whatever the content is, the soil will need, it will, it, uh, the, with the help of this app, we can on and off, I can, we can show this. One. As we know that wearing a helmet is important for all two-wheeler uh, riders because it uh, reduces the risk of um, serious head injuries and deaths. A smart helmet is an updated version of a simple helmet. Uh, more, uh, more features are added to a simple helmet to make it a smart helmet. This is a solar panel uh, to, for the energy requirements. Uh, so this is the LED light for the other vehicles to detect our vehicle uh, in the night time. Uh, so, uh, in case in the uh, rainy, se rainy seasons, if the solar panel does not work, we can use the battery uh, to work this LED light. So we have been used a camera to capture the driving memories and this, uh, this can also act as an evidence uh, while accident. Uh, so this is the inbuilt uh, breath uh, breath deflector. Uh, we can use in the uh, we can use this in foggy days and winters, uh, where the face shield get covers with uh, uh, which will be covered, which will look like blur. So face shield helps us to uh, it helps and prevent us from the uh, dust particles and uh, from the insects. Uh, this is the eye shield to protect ourselves from the sun rays. Uh, this is the inbuilt uh, window. Uh, in especially in summer days, we get more sweating, so we can use this window to cool ourselves. And here we have a uh, Bluetooth where we can attend the phone calls, and uh, we, if needed, we can also listen to the music. Its cost is not also not very high. It is a reasonable price helmet, uh, and uh, in India, 70 to 85 percent of uh, accident um, uh, deaths of motors are caused because of not wearing a helmet. This is because people in India have a compromising attitude. They choose uh, comfort over safety. Uh, that is why we are here to present a smart helmet so that we can raise awareness um, among people about the importance of a helmet. The main aim of our project is to raise awareness about this helmet and also um, reduce the number of accidents that, um, that are occurring in India. Sir, I am Anam Fatima from grade 8 and I am from Bakas Public School and our model is hemodialysis. First, the blood is drained out from our body and goes through an arterial pressure monitor where pressure of the artery, uh, the blood coming from the artery is measured. 
Now the blood is pumped up, pumped up and goes through the heparin pump where heparin drug is added. This, hep this heparin drug uh, is used to prevent clotting while it is dialyzed in the dialyzer. And next comes the dialyzer inflow pressure monitor. This uh, a monitor and a pressure, uh, the pump work together to maintain the flow of the blood passing through this pipe. And it also uh, prevents the con dialyzer contamination by the blood in the dialyzer. This is the dialyzer used for uh, purification. This dialyzer contains dialyzer. While the blood passes through it, it doesn't, the dialysate doesn't have nitrogenous waste. The, uh, the nitrogenous waste diffuses in the dialysate and the blood is filled. And the next comes is venous pressure monitor. Venous pressure monitor records the uh, uh, dynamic venous pressure or the venous pressure uh, by the blood and uh, uh, by the pump speed of. Uh, 200 milliliters per minute and uh, the needle uh, is used with the uh, same size and uh, this uh, pressure rate pressure rating may vary in different uh, different machines but the pressure rating should be closer to uh, 125 to 150 mmhg that is milliliter of mercury Sir, I am Pritam from grade 9. Good morning, sir. I am Abhishekan from grade 8. So today we made a project of hydraulic flyover. Our aim is to prevent the accidents in traffic jam. So, so sir, from this we can prevent accidents and traffic jams. Hydraulic parking system. Helpful in cities because there are less parking areas and more vehicles. Sir, we can build this and we can park more vehicles on this. And in the malls, markets are uh, more crowded uh, and less parking places, so it will help there. Uh, the first, uh, the car will come to ground floor. The hydraulic will go down and the car comes up. Sir, uh, sir, just like only this process will go in third floor. After filling this wall, second floor, they will park in first floor. It is very uh, helpful for more parking vehicles directly up. Oh. Up comes out the car will go and it will park to third floor. And yet we still consider motorists as the most convenient way of charging on transport devices. To solve this problem, we have come up with a low-cost device called Sudden Slope Shade Device. We have developed our device in a way that it can notify, notify or alert the driver in presence of object in the body and behind. With the help of IoT, we are able to detect the object, object and it can come into the driver's notice by mentioning, by mentioning the presence of an object. Okay. And the buzzer gives an alert to the driver and drivers get alerted then he can take action according to it. And this this object can detect up to 20 centimeter uh, object which is at a 20 centimeter high and minimum. And uh, this uh, device is useful for useful in uh, preventing accidents where many reasons there is lots of fog and in polluted cities, examples in Delhi. Organizers for inviting me to appreciate our witness uh, the projects or the works have been done by 6th, 7th and 8th uh, students, class students. 
I really appreciate their effort, their interest, and their um, what you can say um, trouble they have taken to come up with such novel ideas, very useful ideas for the society. And I also appreciate the efforts put in by the teachers, the respective teachers who have done a commendable job. Okay, this is a good uh, what you can say example or good uh, effort in uh, popularizing the science, technology, and other uh, aspects of this uh, education, as well as motivate the students to go for society useful or society needed uh, projects so that uh, they are uh, uh, they will become good citizens of the country as well as good uh, uh, people of the country and i appreciate the efforts put in by all the uh, stakeholders like uh, the school which has done this exhibition and the students who have taken much interest in uh, coming up with such projects as well as the teachers who have motivated those students as well as uh, done their uh, effort to come up with such workable projects. Uh, I thank Mr. Sakri and Mr. Rudebellari for coming and gracing the occasion. It's a science fair conducted at Sparkles International School. And I thank the principal for uh, making this possible. This was done with the help of Sahodia, which is a CBSC schools organization. It was hosted by Sparkles for all the students of all CBSC schools. And uh, the students have done extremely well, very innovative and uh, very, very useful projects for society. What, can, what the students can do is be very innovative and put it into play and helps them mentally grow. So I thank you all for being here and uh, making this a success. Thank you so much. Today at Sparkle International, we hosted uh, our science fair under Karnataka School Sahodia Complex where 11 school participated with their unique models over here and we are so proud to say like uh, today's generation they have come up with such a numerous uh, varieties of exhibits here and very beautifully explained so we should like encourage such students to come up with their new and unique ideas and we feel so proud to have them here The third one, the third prize for the junior group goes to Sri Damodar Raghuji School. AV <laughs> Public School ACC Wadi. DV Public School ACC Wadi for The Shloka A. Birla School, which is getting the first prize for the junior group for 6 and 7. In the senior section, Sri Puranmal Shrenikraj Doka Jain School. Please keep applauding for them as they have done a hard work, remarkable work all the participants as well as the test for teachers to come forward. In the senior section, no matter who got the first prize, Sri Damodar Raghuji Memorial School.